day everyone, Blake here from Blue Dog Prospecting, and if you're new to my channel, welcome! I'm just here, um, got a new box in the mail, it's from Cleggy at Aussie Detector down in Newcastle, so I'll drop a link for his store below, and I'll show you guys what we got in here. This is something I've been wanting to test out for quite some time now. So, we're going to get into it. Righto, so here we got the XP Batea Pan. Looks pretty good. We'll open it up and... Uh, See what's inside this box. <laughs> Radio. So, waking this kid up. And you see, straight off the bat, first thing I notice is the sheer size of this pan. It is absolutely monstrous. And uh, this little nipple they're talking about in the bottom here, I quite like it. You know, it's a little good little catch for the gold. I see how it'll work really well. Be able to move a lot of dirt due to the just sheer surface size of the pan um, yeah we'll take it in and season it up soon but also the kit comes with a beautiful looking classifier really good looking gear this XP stuff more of a diamond design on that than the old traditional square of the Garrett so I'll sit that one over there we get a Bit of an instruction manual, I suppose it would be, with the different kits up here that you can get as well. And the XP pans are actually a bit different as well. I hear they use this thing called snake skin, I do believe it's called. And uh, got this clay buster, I call it. It goes in the middle. I um, did see. Penny O'Reilly installing one of these. I personally want to break the pan in and, you know, um, get it used without that first to see what it's like before I go drilling holes in there. Because once we go drilling holes through there, we cannot go back on that. So I think it becomes more of an optional thing to put that on there. Um, personally, I don't see it being too much different other than the fact that that being down in that pan there will stop a lot of the big rocks but you're going to pick them out with your hands anyway most of us are anyway so um what else have we got here nice little vial snuffer bottle uh little sucker in there and an xp magnifying glass Not too bad at all. Well, I think all in all, opening it up, um, having a look at the quality of the gear, it's good quality stuff. Everything's XP stamped here and here. Um, it's good solid plastic, a bit like you know your traditional gold pans, same sort of plastic as they use for them, and. Uh, yeah, I, I'm impressed. I quite actually like this um, idea of this. I'm imagining these probably sit down on here. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I'm imagining that's what they'll do with the next classifier size. So I think they do do two different classifier sizes with these. So anyway, beautiful product. Thank you, Justin Cleghorn from Aussie Detectorus. 
don't forget there'll be a link below for that and uh, yeah we're gonna get in here now and we're gonna show you guys how to treat this pan and um, get it all prepared ready before you use it so first we'll get some nice warm soapy water a scouring brush or some steel wool you're a good scrub get all of them manufacturing oils and all that stuff off here you can see it actually shine in there so we want to get this nice and rough so it holds that gold in there a bit better not too rough but just scuff it you know so the water doesn't bead that's what you want you want that beading effect of the water to disappear and uh, there to be a really nice sort of film of water I would put it around the whole thing so anyway we're gonna go and season this and uh, see you is over there ready try this old Vogus and um, Pioneer Pauly trick ready one two oh, didn't work one two Rightio, so we're down here at the lovely Nemoy River. I've got my Chinese hat on, so it looks. Got the lovely XP potato pan. Got it from uh, Aussie Detectorus, from Justin Cleghorn. Give him a buzz if you want one of these. So this is the first time I've ever used the potato pan. So if I'm doing something wrong, let me know in the comments below. But it has not been cured yet, so we're going to do some curing first. What I'll do, chuck him down there, get the shovel. Ah, here's some mud. And none of this is gold bearing down here, so we're going to get this muddy rock. We're just going to use it the abrasive sand and everything just to get rid of this um, film the manufacturing film so just just rub it right in there like that get right down into that little dimple that's in the bottom See now it's all stopped beating off. Give it a wash. You see the water's still beating a little bit up here, so we'll get a bit more. Guys use soapy water and a scouring pad that'll work as well. But uh, I like to use a bit of mud. We all love playing in the mud. <laughs> there we go. You can see the water's not really beading off properly now. It's got a few abrasions in there, so it's cured the pan. We've got some gold bearing dirt here. We collected up from Nundle. And uh, these kits, like I said before, come with these bloody lovely looking classifier. So what we'll do is stick that in there. They should have a stand for them. They should have a stand for them. That's a good, good, good comment, Jamie. Um, XP, you need a stand. <laughs> I'm already noticing you can actually put a lot of dirt in there so I'm gonna have to get over here into a bit of a deeper puddle. This one thing is we're gonna need a fair whack of water and wet this down because this material is pretty dry. And again, I say this is the first time I've ever used a potato pan. 
been hassling Cluggy for a while about them. And uh, interested to see how we go. Won't spend too much time cleaning up these balls, but we'll get back to them later. One thing I didn't do is I didn't put that, that sort of cone shaped bit of metal down inside. It's meant to break the clay up a bit, but I'll get my hands in there, really break that clay apart because it is very, very dry material. One of the first things you do notice about this pan is the size of it. They're a large pan, but the bigger the pan, the more dirt we're going to be able to put through it. So, I'll see if I can remember what I watched on the video of how to use them. So, side to side. Same as your standard pan. Turn the base you there. Turn it. On your grease like that, side to side, your hand in there, break it up more, and that gets that material to drop right down into this cone on the bottom. Now, from what I can gather, washed down to that. That's pretty impressive. It's so strange just having to swirl your pan but I kind of like it. You get it down in the water a bit more lights to come out the top. Apparently you got to swing it and then to stop. This is going to take some getting the hang on. <laughs> Bell again. There we go. You can see a fair amount of black sand down in there. One more. So what's that doing? The swing so, at the end. So when you're swirling it, all the light material's coming out off the top. All the heavy stuff will stay down in this dimple. And supposedly, as you're swirling and you do your stop material will stop like this and your gold will stay down here and your light stuff on the end so you can use kind of like a regular pan. Now it's not very rich dirt this that we've got here so we may or may not have gold in it. Tell you what, she's a bit bloody different, but I do see a bit of gold right there. One tiny, tiny, tiny little fly poop. So if it's catching that, it'll catch the bigger stuff. You might not be able to see it on camera, but we'll uh, clean out this little dimple. So yeah, she's going to take some getting used to, definitely going to take some getting used to, I'm used to my traditional pans, but I do like it. Um, to process material that fast, especially what four or five shovels worth, 
really cannot complain. So what I might do is I'll dump some more material in that and uh, we'll go one more time and see how we go. Ding! So that's two shovels. Three shovels. Four shovels. So we'll stick with four shovels. This bucket was full right up to the brim up here, pretty much. We've already gone more than half the bucket. It's bloody warm down here today. Up in the 40 degree mark, Celsius. Anyway, let's give that a dig. Even the water's warm. That's what I was just thinking. feels so unnatural but like I said I kind of like it next minute two ounce nugget <laughs> that'd be good it would be nice <laughs> I think I'm still dreaming I think that bucket would have been heavier Now when we stop, all the material stays out like that. I can see a line of heavy black sands into the middle. Shake all that heavy stuff back into the middle. confident about that second run than my first one because I've seen a lot more black sands. See if we can find some yellow in there. Just make it nice and easy. Feels so unsafe without riffles but I see Chris from Vogus Prospecting, he uses the potato pan, swears by it, loves it. Is that a piece? There's a piece. Just there. Just where my finger is. So, we're getting that real small fly pot so we know we're doing the right thing. And that's pretty much all that's coming out of this spot where we got that dirt. I didn't want to use any any dirt that's too rich for the simple fact that um, if I use some dirt that was too rich and I don't know what I'm doing, 
then I could be losing nuggets. <laughs> it always runs through my mind. I could be losing nuggets. But uh, I kind of like it. I love it and hate it at the same time. Um, you can see that you used to be old pants. <laughs> yeah, right. I think if I got it down to the point where it was just that stuff in the bottom and tipped it into a traditional pan to do my final clean up, in that aspect, I think it would become a lot faster to process the dirt. So I could break down a whole bucket of dirt nearly in this one pan alone, reduce it to the, the black sand and all the heavies, put it in a traditional pan and then continue on with this and do that two or three times and then I can get rough estimate of how much dirt or how much gold sorry I'm gonna get out of 30 kilos of dirt so in that aspect breaking it down bloody can't beat it I don't reckon but um, that final clean up is where it sort of gets a bit difficult so anyway um, that's just a quick see a bit of gold still sitting there just sitting up on the rim there so that's just a quick video showing you the potato pan unboxing how to cure it and how a newbie looks when they're trying to use one and um, i'm pretty sure a snake just went into the water snake yep i'm here <laughs> i don't like snakes <laughs> so yeah on that note i'm packing up I'm getting the hell out of Dodge because I really don't like snakes. I'm only used to handling one snake and it's a blind spitting one. Um, That's for me to handle. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway guys and girls, if you like what you see here today, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, little ding a bell so that you get notifications when we're putting videos up. And uh, I'm paranoid. I'm getting the hell out of here. See you.